Welcome back guys. This is a video part 2 of Linux LVM and if you find uh, this video on YouTube please to visit my YouTube channel and check out Linux LVM playlist there. In this video I will show you how to create physical volumes, volume groups and logical volumes using LVM commands. If you if you are looking for the theoretical side of LVM, you can see the video part 1 in the list. And before we dive in, I will be really appreciated if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and please share and like this video to reach more people. With all that being said, let us jump in. As you can see here in front of you, we have two windows. The first window is containing the list of the command that I will use during my demo. The second window is containing SSH connected to the server that we will perform the demo on it. And also I have disclaimer, so please don't implement those scenarios directly to the production system. Try to do it first on testing environment and this will be easy for you to be clear about the comments and what it may be effect or not your system let's have a look at the available disk on the system right now so this is the i think the crucial um, the crucial uh, task for the system admin to understand exactly what's the disk you want to work on so let's first uh, lsplk and then i will grip minus v to exclude the loops okay now we can see we have uh, four disks the first one is SDA. I think this one don't touch it. This is for the system, which is the operating system. We have SDB, SDC, and SDD. Three of them are available to be used, I think. So let's have more clear idea about the disk using LVM uh, disk scan. Sorry, disk scan. Then again, I will grab minus V to the loop as well. We can see here. We have one disk, this is for the system, 19 GB, uh, I think for LVM physical volume, labeled as LVM physical volume. We have three disks are available, which is those disks. And uh, we have also one LVM, which is this one list here. So we have now a good statistics and clear idea which disk we want to use. Okay, now let's move to the uh, next step. Okay, now we come to first i list the disk again now we come to prepare so we need to use those two disks to make them available for the lpm okay now we will use the command called f disk as like this dev sdb sorry then we will create right now a new but let me just first check p as we can see here there is no uh, partitions available uh, p it's mean print out so let me just create new enter enter and then hit enter again now i will divide this disk because it's six terabyte i need to divide it to three and three for each uh, partition okay three then g as you can see here three g okay then i will hit enter then as you can see here it's again you can see here it's this one is labeled as linux so i need to remove it so change the t which is type and i memorize it if you don't know what's exactly you can hit enter it will uh, l sorry and hit enter it will list for all you for you all the types but for me i memorize it in hex 8e this will change it to like now hit enter now it's changed to be from linux uh you can see it here to linux uh, lvm type okay now let's do the same for the second partition the same the same disk yes hit enter then hit enter keep the default and hit enter again so i will press yes and then let's put t okay now the default i will change the type for the second one which is the default is two so i will hit enter again then as you can see here please enter the hex code i memorize the hex code it's 8e then i will put p again so we can see both of the partitions are labeled as a linux 
LVM type. Okay. Now we will write all the change. I will hit W to save. Now let me clear and let's do again the loop. We can see here we have two partitions from SDB. The SDC I will make it one partition so it will be an easy task and div SDC and I will hit enter. Now I will put in that's mean in new. I will hit uh, P okay default which is primary. Yes, the number will be one. Hit enter, enter, then P just to print out. We can see the type is Linux, so I need to change it to be. Uh, I will hit T to change the type to 8E. I memorize the hex again, P. So we can see here it's Linux LVM type. Now we will write hit W and then hit enter. So let me just clear the screen. I'll clear it by shortcut like this, and let's list all of them. We can see here we have two partition for SDB, which is three, three, three GB, three GB. The SDC we use all the disk as a one partition, five gigabyte. Okay, there is no mine points, nothing yet. We just only format them and prepare them to use them for LVM creation. Okay, so now we will move to the Next step, we we'll do BVS just to list the BV, which is the physical volumes are available on the system. We can see we have one SD3, which is this one for the uh, Ubuntu server uh, uh, system, operating system. So now we will do like BV create, sorry, BV physical volume create, BV create, div SDC1, SDB1, div SDC1. So we can see here we want to create BV, which is vol uh, volume uh, physical volume uh, for two partitions. Okay, we we can see here both of them are created successfully. Let's list BVS to see. We can see here both of them are created with the free uh, physical volume free size, the physical free size for the SDB one is three, three GB and the second one SDC one is the we can see here is 5 GB. They are not uh, belong to any uh, volume group yet. So as you can see here, we're done from the BV creation. So now we will move to the uh, VG creation, which is volume group. So to create a volume group, we need the VG create. But before we do VG create, let's do VGS to see what we have available uh, volume groups this is belong to the system so that's mean we don't have any additional um, volume groups okay now let me just uh, do vg create okay then we will put the vg name which is uh, i will name it as data vg okay then we will put as the b1 and div as the c1 Okay, and let's do VGS. We can see here the data VG is created. We have two physical volumes, zero LVs, and the free size is totally not in use. Okay, so let me just clear the screen and let's see the VGS, if the, uh, sorry, and the BVS, if it's uh, changed. As we can see here, both disks are labeled and now belong to the data VG and uh, NOS as we can see here they are not used for any logical volume because the free size the free space is still not in use nice now let's move to the LV creation or logical volume creation to create logical volume we need to perform the below command LV create but before do LV create, let's just LVS to list the, the available logical volume. We can see here we have only one, which is belong to the uh, operating system, root file system. Okay, so let me just now do LV create. Of course, to do LV create, we need to put the data, sorry, data VG, which is the uh, volume group. This LV will be belong to the data volume group. Then the name, I will name it data underscore LV. This is the name of the logical volume. Now we will do the custom capital L custom size for this volume group. So I will put uh, 2G, 2G, 
okay and i will hit enter i will do yes okay it's uh, created as we can see here it's created let me just uh, do lvs to see exactly yeah it's created with 2g let's say i want to um i want to let's say uh, create with the full size what i can do so i can do the following let me just clear after we clear the screen i need just now to create a logical volume with a full size but before we proceed to uh, for the, uh, the creation command i need just to check the vgs let's see how much we have free space on this uh, data volume group uh, now we can see here we have six gigabytes free available so how i can create lvm to take all this free size uh, free space so i can do like this lv create then i will put the data vg which is the volume group name then n put uh, the name of the uh, logical volume which is will be log underscore lv logs logical volume then i can put minus l small the previous one was l capital then we can put the size minus l small we can put uh, this way 100 percent sorry percent free like this so once i hit enter the logical volume will be created nice let's check the uh, the vgs first we can see right now the free size is totally is consumed so we can now do lv lvs like this we can see here the log is taken right now all the remaining size from the this uh, volume group okay nice now once we finish the creation of everything how we can uh, now use uh, those partitions let's say lvs we have two partitions here so uh, this uh, both of them we can use them like this first we need to make file system make fs dot extension for you can check you can put any file system you wish uh, it depends on the operating system if support this uh, file system or not but for me i will use this one then i will put dev then data sorry then mapper then data then i will put data lv nice then I once i hit enter this file system will be created the second one mount uh sorry uh, make fs make fs then extension uh, for uh, of course you need root to do this one or um, uh, sudo uh, data log then hit enter now let me just clear sorry let me just clear the screen now i will do I will check just if I have um, the data ls minus l sorry data and logs I think both of them I have them yeah both directory are available so I need just only to mount dev then mapper data then data to data but before I do this let me just do df minus G minus H grip uh, grip minus V I think and then I will oh, it's okay I don't want to exclude let them all uh, as we can see here uh, there is no any mount point for data and uh, I think it's not clear let me just uh, grip minus V then I will exclude the uh, loop and also the temp uh, fs i think yep like this it's more clear we can see there is no mount point for the, the data so we can take this command and run it again uh yep like this so let's mount it and let me also mount the log uh, logical volume to uh, logs okay like this now i can um do like this i can see here 
that's both of them are available on the system i can use them so if you want to do this to be uh, permanent we can just only uh, add them get etc fs tab you can add them here okay once you add them here they will be mounted on uh during the reboot time so no need to do mount again each time you reboot the your uh, operating system or your computer okay so we have done here the next uh, video will be about how we can extend the lv and how we can extend also the vg so stay tuned for next video thank you for watching and take care thank you